we are about to fly to Minneapolis, Minnesota, and tomorrow I get to interview Cece McDonald. I'm, I'm, wow. I'm really emotional about this project that we're about to embark on. I've been wanting to meet and talk to Cece McDonald for over a year and a half. Cece's just someone I've thought about really every day that I've um, showed up on set to film or just a new block. This is an emergency. Yeah, well, we don't see it that way. I thought about Cece and so many women like her. I'd like to report an emergency. Trans women who are serving in men's prisons all across the country. Cece's case, to me, encapsulates so many of the harsh injustices that trans women of color face in this country. Cece was just walking down the street with a group of her friends minding her own business. Something about that day just was like not sitting right with me. She was met with harassment. I just started hearing faggots and you niggers and this and that and I'm like oh my gosh please let's just please go. And this, this story touches me so much because I have been CC. I have been walking down the street just minding my own business. People were like driving in the street, like hopping out of their cars and stuff and like challenging us. And so often when trans women are attacked in these situations, they don't survive. I just feel the blood all over my face and I look down, I see blood all over my clothes, I see blood all over my hands. I just remember like looking up and seeing Dean and him having this like the most evilest just it was just so scary. And I'm walking backwards. I never once stopped. He's like, angry man, like, jogging towards me. And I'm like, oh my gosh. But Cece did survive. And her, her gift for survival is a prison sentence when she was just defending herself. 47-year-old Dean Schmitz was stabbed during a fight shortly after midnight. Police say a group of people were fighting in the 2900 block of 27th Avenue South. When officers arrived, they found a man lying on the street with a stab wound. He died at the scene, and it sounds like maybe they've made an arrest already. Yeah, they have arrested 23-year-old Krishan McDonald. He now faces murder charges. They demonized me in a sense of words. They kind of just made it seem like I was on the rampage. I was just attacking people. Nobody was really trying to stand up for us. People were basically lying for these people, you know what I'm saying? Like, we were, you know, the angry black people who were, you know, looking to cause trouble. And Cece was arrested on the spot and not allowed a self-defense claim by the district attorney. Black bodies, whether they're trans or not, are assumed to be criminal. I got a letter from Cece in the mail and that day I got a letter from CC, Elon Nettles was pronounced dead in, in New York City. And Elon Nettles, five days earlier, had been beaten into a coma in Harlem just for walking down the street like CC was, and like so many trans women just walked down the street as themselves. The letter I got from CC, she talked about, she congratulated me on Orange is the New Black. And she talked about her desires to want to act when she was younger. And there was so much hope in that letter. And, and, I, and I thought, why me? Why do I get to be the one living my dreams when so many of my sisters don't? So this is a big deal for me. <laughs> I just, I can't wait to meet Cece and give her a big hug and to hear from her what she wants to say to the world about who she is and about her story. Final morning call for passenger Gares and passenger Cox.